Woke women realizing that Donald Trump is actually their president. Let's get straight into it. I have decided that my personal revenge for this 2024 election fiasco is going to be posting a profile pic. Shots fired! Please don't. Is to be a menace to men on dating apps. Okay. I'm going to re-download probably, just, I guess, just Tinder and Hinge. Bro, it's always the bull nose ring in the grandma glasses, bro. Big back, big back. <laughs> it always is. And match up every single man. Good luck. Say I'm down for hookups. Give them my give them a Google Voice number. Talk with them. Say yeah, I'll come over. Yeah, I'm on my way. Yeah, I'm I'm five minutes out. Uh, what do you mean I'm here? Don't you see me? Guess what? I won't be there, and I'm gonna ruin your plans. Anytime you make plans with me, I will lie to you, stand you up, ghost you. I'm just gonna be a menace. Cause why not? Wow, really fighting the patriarchy. There you go, honey. Really, really doing the Lord's work there. I, I just don't get how that you're actually getting back to me. Like you're wasting your time going back and forth with people. What is that? I'm going to, I'm going to get drunk today and I'm going to act like an angry black fucking woman because I'm fucking angry. I'm mad. I'm upset. I'm angry as fuck, bro. I'm angry. I'm hurt. My feelings are fucking hurt. We always finish last. We always come. Good Lord. Do not let that girl see a magnet. Shots fired face will just drift away there brother man um goodness gracious i am gonna say this as nicely as i can please excuse the language what fucking rights are you losing as a woman preach honey oh uh, wait and you can just tell she's probably conservative blonde hair no piercings no tattoos like it's just you it's a you can see it bro what rights what rights are you losing? Why are you boohooing on the internet and saying that you're losing your rights as a woman? Tell me. You're losing nothing. Seriously. Nothing. Can you work? Yes. Can you still make money? Yes. Can you get married? Yes. Can you get divorced? Yes. Can you have children? Yes. Can you have one child? Yes. Can you have five child? Yes. Five children? Yes. Can you have five boyfriends? Yes. Uh, can you run for office? Yes. Can you own a business? Yes. Can you be CEA, CEO, CFO, all the things? Yes. Oh, can you have an abortion? Yes. You still, yeah, you still can. What if you're R word? Can you have an abortion? Yes. What if what if you're you're gonna lose your life? Can you have an abortion? Yes. What incest? Yes. All the extenuating circumstances. Yes. 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 You're losing nothing. Quit listening to the crap. That Preach. This chick is so right. And y'all know me, man. I'm just based. I just like to... I'm based in logic, dude. I don't lead with emotion. I lead with logic. Leave the country as an American. Sorry, guys. I simply cannot smile at the moment. It's been a long 24 hours. If you're under 30, consider the Australia or New Zealand working holiday visa. Granted, this is a temporary fix, but Australia allows American citizens up to three years on a working holiday, and New Zealand offers one. So that could realistically get you through the next four. These visas are both really easy to apply for. They cost around $450. I personally did a year in Australia. I have a lot of videos about that. I'm happy to tag you if you need more info. If you have a way to make an income online, consider a digital nomad visa. Lots of different countries. Are these girls are giving tutorials on how to be a passport girl, or I guess leave the country. What is that? Why would you want to? This is the greatest country. Chat, do you not agree? Do you not think this country is great? I think it's awesome. I think it's pretty. I know the dating scene sucks, but so does getting hurt in an accident. Have you ever found yourself involved in a personal injury case? As an image consultant, I meet a lot of clients who are actually recovering from all sorts of injuries, from car accidents to workplace injuries. And I was actually surprised to see at how many people lose their personal injury cases, which is why I want to talk about Morgan and Morgan, America's largest injury law firm. They specialize in a wide variety of personal injury cases and they've won thousands of big cases and if you do end up working with them they're gonna fight for the money that you deserve just recently Morgan & Morgan solidified verdicts in Florida for 12 million dollars and 26 million dollars in Philly that's up to 40 times the highest insurance offer and I'm telling you your case could be worth millions and the best part is it's all free unless you win your case now if you've also been the victim of a personal injury or a serious accident you can visit www www.forthepeople.com slash Levi found in the description below where you can start your free claim today. Awesome. And you guys got your cheap ass groceries and your cheap ass fucking gas because you're fucking broke as shit. You're fucking broke. It's always the bull nose ring, bro. Oh, you're fucking broke. Broke. I said I'm fucking doing serious. You're fucking broke. 
I guess we're I guess we're broke, chat. <laughs> guess we're broke, chat. Don't know what to do. Broke. Broke is a joke there. I'm gonna try to explain this without crying, but you guys just don't get it. And you have the privilege The bull nose ring, bro. It's <laughs> You guys think I'm making this stuff up, bro. It's like the starter pack. <laughs> the dyed hair, the bull nose ring, it's crazy work. Of not getting it and that's great for you i'm so happy for you but i'm gonna <sighs> this isn't necessarily about trump it has to do with everything republicans republicans have basically taken over everything at this point there's no one to keep them in check and people aren't seeming to get that there's a ton of anti there's actually checks and balances there's three branches of government what are you talking about bt bills up to be voted on and there's no one in there to protect our rights. I could lose my marriage. I could lose my kids. I could lose my livelihood. I could lose literally everything because I'm in a queer family. And you guys don't get that. We don't know the future. And at least having a Democratic president, there is someone there to keep them in check. It has nothing to do with not wanting Trump to be president. I mean, I hate the motherfucker, but he's fucking stupid. I don't care if he's president. Stupid. It's the other people he fucking put in office that I'm terrified of. And he's in there, and they're using him for whatever the fuck they want to use him for. You guys don't get it because you have the privilege of not getting it. I don't give a fuck if the economy was better for you years ago. Number one, there was COVID, and all of Trump's problems trickled into Biden. I love it. I love it. <laughs> it's just no accountability, nothing. Just I love it. It's great. It's beautiful. It's grand. You know what I mean? If this guy does end up winning again, all of the people who voted for him will be like happy and they'll just be celebrating. And everyone else, everyone who feels threatened by him is fucking scared. Like we're, we're scared for our lives. We're scared for our friends. Like you have pro-life women dying because they're, their doctors are scared to treat them because of the repercussions of his last presidency. <laughs> How did we get here? How did we get here? <laughs> to know that there is that much ignorance and that much hate in this country. It's so terrifying. <laughs> it's so terrifying. How could you do this? How can you claim to be a Christian or anyone of moral values and support someone? When well, don't Christians believe that you shouldn't have sex until you're married? <laughs> So like, I'm pretty sure most of them are pro-life, except for the, you know, the exceptions, which the exceptions don't make the rule, but pretty sure that's what they think. Every word out of his mouth is to hate when he wants to pardon people who took over the Capitol. You do not do this to people that you love and care about. If you have a woman in your life, if you have an LGBT. I, I don't know. Cass actually, you know, we're, we're very, uh, very conservative Republican here, so. I do have a woman in my life, and she, yeah, she agrees with my political affiliation. Not to say that's, you know, what makes you who you are, but I believe your morals, morals, ethics, and values make you who you are, not your political affiliation, but... I will make it my life's mission, my dying wish, that none of you weirdos can hide in the future. You can't lie to your kids, you can't lie to your grandkids about, oh, it was, it was so confusing, it was hard to see the truth, it, he was so convincing. I will not let you get away with that. <laughs> like that was not normal this is not normal i will make it clear to everyone like i will make sure no one is confused about how things were right now in this very vital crucial time in american history that it was not bro chat she gonna expose y'all bro <laughs> how you feel about old girl right here exposing you i feel bad for y'all bro not confusing it was not confusing at all you just stood for that you stood with that and for that like, I, I can't emphasize enough there will be nowhere to hide, and history is going to look back bro, on... Bro, go find a rock to hide under chat, because it's a wrap for us, I guess. I guess it's a wrap, bro. I guess it's a wrap. <laughs> She's going to find you. She's like the Liam Neeson of the, uh, <laughs> the woke liberals. Do you think you should take the signs down? If you feel like you need to go take them down, I'll go out there and help you. Yeah, go take the signs down. It's a wrap. I couldn't hear it. Let's go to the next one. As we know. All right. I think I've seen this girl before. Donald Trump is president, and I think all women should stop having sex for the next four years. 
in protest and protection of your bodies. As we know, if that little baby inside you gives you any trouble and you need an emergency health care, you're fucked and you're going to die. I think that is sufficient enough reason to stop having sex. Don't you agree? I don't think he... He didn't ban it, though, did he? I mean, maybe I'm stupid, chat, which... I'll be the first one to tell you I'm I'm, I'm pretty stupid, but um, I, I don't I don't think he banned it, did he? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Actually, I don't worry about my station in life. I worry about the working class. I worry about my mother, a retired teacher. I worry about. They're all wearing like funeral clothing, <laughs> all black. <laughs> Our elderly and their social security and their the Medicare. Children. I worry about my children's future, especially my daughter, who now has less rights than I have, and I remember my father. What? Father telling me many, many years ago that I was the first person in, in his family to enjoy full civil rights. And now I have less civil rights than I had when he told me that. So again, I'm... You're on a TV show probably making six figures plus and you don't have civil rights? What? Profoundly disturbed that the 14th Amendment of the Constitution did not prevent someone who participated in an insurrection from becoming president of the United States. I think that going forward, the convicted felon box on employment applications better be taken off because if you can be the president of the United States, then you should think- I actually agree with that. I think if you can be a felon and be the president, you, yeah, like I, I believe it, uh, it, it, should, it should come down to who you are at the time, you know? Now it depends on the mistakes that you made, you know, if it comes to, Anything related to su something super violent or something with children, I think you should have to let them know. But, um, yeah, I mean, I'm okay with that. I, 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 I know guys that are felons that are good dudes. And you should not be prevented from employment in this country because I remember applying for my jobs in, as a, a federal prosecutor and there was a box for convicted felons. Well, And so that box better, better be taken off. And I, I think our health care system is now at risk. I think um, no fluoride for anyone. Yeah, economists have made clear <laughs> that um, he's going to increase the debt by 7.75 trillion dollars. I'm worried about mass deportation and internment camps, and I'm also worried about Elon Musk warning Americans to prepare for temporary hardship. What? It's all just like hearsay and rumors, and well, this and that, and that and this, and. I feel like, you know, I feel like, whoa, goodness gracious, what is this clip right here? I just want to know, I have been studying Kamala's charts, and it looks like she is not only going to win, but she is going to be um, winning a second term. The next eight years in her chart look really, really strong. Trump's, not so much. Okay, so I was wrong. A lot of astrologers were wrong. A lot of us were wrong. Um, but if you think that... Right now is the time to tell me that you don't believe in astrology. Who gives a f about astrology right now, dude? <laughs> Who literally f Clearly you do. Shots fired! <laughs> cares about that. That is like the least of our f worries. This is my career. I have built a life off of reading the stars for people and getting it right. But if you're going to come into my comments and complain that, well, I'm no longer going to believe in astrology after this. Who gives a f for real? Let's be f for real right now. That is the last. Are you mad? Of our f worries. My mom can't lose her social security. We can't lose our Medicaid or Medicare. Are they going to lose that? I'm probably the worst person to be commenting on political stuff because I'm pretty ignorant. I'll keep it a buck. Um, my my niche is mainly relationships, but I just had to hop on this, bro. Or with more rights than I have now, it's a pretty crazy feeling. Knowing that what we're about to go through means the possibility of me losing more of my rights and what that rights? being a real threat is insane. Bro, chat, am I... Dude, what rights are they talking about losing? Is it abortion rights? Is that like what the craze is right now? I'm pretty sure he didn't make it illegal. Yeah? Okay, but for real though, Maybe Joe wrong, Biden could actually save us from a Donald Trump presidency. Yes, you're seeing this after the election results. It is 100% possible 
for Joe Biden to step down and make Kamala Harris the 47th president and claim that making Donald Trump president would go against the oath of upholding the Constitution. Therefore, a new election has to take place and Kamala Harris will be the president until then. Will that happen? No, I doubt it. But that is- I mean, she got a point. If the Democrats really did believe in her, they could have just said, hey, Biden, we're going to have you step down. We're going to let her be the president for a little bit. And she could have been the first female president. Um, but they didn't do that. <laughs> they didn't. I don't know, man. Because I saw a bunch of pictures of Biden on the beach. I don't know what was going on with him. Now. How am I supposed to go to work? Get in your car and go to work. <laughs> it's like, do all of them have a nose piercing? How am I supposed to go to work and... Go to do work. all of my normal daily activities when, when I know that uh, we all just chose for things to get exponentially harder. I live in Texas. Hey, me too. I don't, I don't understand how I'm gonna go through the day. Just go, go through the. She goes through the day. I just woke up and went to the gym. Same old, same old. And I just want my mom. I want mommy. Whoa, goodness gracious. Grown women talking about I want mommy. This is so confusing to me. I, I didn't keep up with any of this until like yesterday. Uh oh. We may not have rights tomorrow. So I'm going to bed with the last. Might not have a hairline tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> Shit's running back like Randy Moss, bro. <laughs> Good lord. I said a thing that I have But we fought a good fucking fight, and if it turns out that. Bro, I'm t if somebody got that poster on their wall, you know they smoke copious amounts of Kush. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nobody sober that has that on the wall, bro. <laughs> An alien sitting on top of a mushroom smoking a joint. Like, <laughs> you smoke weed. We get it. You know, shit flips, you know, great, hell yeah, but right now I'm just not, I can't. Put the blunt down, dude, put the blunt down. <laughs> stop smoking weed, bro. Stop smoking weed. Just, just stop it. You don't need it. Doesn't make you any better, unless you're prescribed it, but like, just stop. Stop smoking weed. My immigrant mother just called me on the phone, innocently asking me. <laughs> If she should start carrying her passport. Okay, all right, all right. What's going on? Carry your passport? I mean, yeah, you should carry a form of ID. I feel like that's um, pretty common, right? Carrying a form of ID if uh, you're going out and about. I just, I, I don't understand that. I carry my ID everywhere. Chat, do you? I feel like it's pretty normal, right? Be the person that gets on here and cries. <laughs> Bull nose ring piercing in the grandma glasses, bro. Every freaking time, dude. But this could sp this could break me and my parents apart because they just don't understand what they voted for and like what it means and the bigotry and hatred that they stand behind and how I like am trying to be a good person. I'm not Catholic like they are, which is ironic because isn't like religion supposed to make you love. But I could see it, like, breaking me and my parents apart because they just don't get it. And they don't get that they voted for someone who's going to make my friends' lives hell. My life's okay. I'm a white woman, but my friends are... Yeah, check your privilege at the door, Regina. <laughs> Talking about... You're, you're, you're privileged. You're fine, honey boo-boo. You're, you're Gucci gang. It's all good for you. It's all good for you. You ain't got to worry about nothing, right? You got all the privilege in the world. Bull nose ring piercing. <laughs> Why you can't make this stuff up? Oh my god. Bro, I had to hop on this. I, I don't do a lot of political stuff. You guys know I just stick to relationships, but I had like it's just been flooding my timeline, bro. I was like, I have to go in here and react to some of these. But I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Go cop the ebook, The Four Pillars of Personality Makes You Irresistible to Women and Respected by Men. I'll see you guys tomorrow, man. Peace.